Hi Sagittarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for the month of December. This is for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. But it's for the whole month of December, not just today, not just for what's going on right now, but for the whole month of December. So feel free to watch it at any time if it doesn't resonate right now. And it may not even be your reading, so it may not resonate ever, okay? It's not a private reading. So this is for Sagittarius. We're going to see whatever comes up. I focus on relationships, but we all know that's not always the way it happens. Victory! Woo! Yay! Don't give up. I wanted to start this reading out with don't give up. Because I've been thinking about doing your reading for a while now, maybe the last couple hours. And then I've been sitting here getting ready for the last hmm, 20 minutes. So I, you guys have been on my mind the whole time. And I right before I even started shuffling the cards, I thought, you know what? Don't give up for you. Don't give up. You're so close to victory. You really, really, really are. You're going through that last little hurdle to get the victory that you deserve. So do not give up. Sagittarius. Now, <laughs> you guys are towards the end of the list this time. I do apologize. I had posted a thing on Facebook and Sagittarius came in at the bottom. So that's what happened. Um, thank you for your patience. Just remember that all, all uh, good things come to those who wait. Sagittarius. You're going to get abundance. It's coming. All right? The abundance that you have been wishing for and working so hard to obtain is going to come. Trust me. It is. Actually, it goes like this. You're going to get your wish fulfillment. You are. Don't give up hope. This is a star card, a card of hope, okay? You may be losing your commitment, feeling unhappy, feeling discontent, feeling I'm not sure I can commit to this anymore. I'm telling you what. You are going to be blessed. You are going to get what you are supposed to get. And it's going to be something good. Okay? Don't give up hope. It's going to be something that is really very much rewarding. Okay? It could have something to do with your bank account. Put it that way. So you have an emperor here in reverse. It's out of, whatever is happening, I know you may it may make you angry, it may make you upset, it may make you feel like you lose your temper and you lose your control. At sometimes you might feel like you're about ready to blow. Try to keep it under control. Try to you know, keep yourself under wraps. Just just do the best that you can do. Justice is good. Your justice is going to be served in your favor. Trust me. You're going to get what is due to you. Okay? There's something going on behind the scenes with that moon card. There's something hidden here. You know, I think... Let me get the rope. But what I see from this is that the universe has your back from the moon card. I see that... It's something is cooking. It's cooking behind the scenes. It's going to bring you wish fulfillment and it's going to bring you justice. Okay? So the, it's the universe is preparing something for you. You can't see it. That's why it's unseen. All right? You can't see it. What? Your abundance is coming. You may feel like you've been wasting your time and this is unrealistic. I'm so dissatisfied with where I'm at, where I've been, you know, the whole night. I'm angry, I'm upset, you know. You're gonna, don't give up. 
You may feel like you need to defend yourself constantly, always on the defensive, always ready to fight, always ready to pounce. Somebody has betrayed you. It's like they've stolen from you. And you're probably like, oh my God, some, they've stolen something or they've taken something or they've just been lying to you. I mean, there's somebody's been lying here. Absolutely, with the moon card and the seven of swords. There's been some deception, but the truth is going to, whatever you, you're going to win, put it that way. It's going to work out in your favor. This is about change. Making a decision to move forward. You have the whole world in your hands. There's multiple, multiple, multiple opportunities. Right now, you're probably feeling really restless and, and full of discontent because you feel like you're stuck, you're stuck, you're stuck. And you may be feeling like you just need to <laughs> retreat, really, retreat. <sighs> But whatever is happening, whatever's going on behind the scenes, which you can't really see that's messing with your life or whatever, is leading you down a new road, believe it or not. It, you know, it, it is. You have to make a decision of some sort and as to what you're going to fight. What battle, I mean, pick your battles. Pick your battles. You guys are holding on to something that is dead. Okay, you're holding on to a dead end situation. I mean, it's already gone, whatever it is. It's already gone. You might as well walk away from it, whatever it is. You have the uh, you have the ability to put yourself right in the back in the driver's seat to take the lead. You do. You're going and this is a card of victory. You guys are headed towards victory, but you know what this is also a card of mental strength. To deal with opposition, to steer that opposition so that they're working together, okay? You have the opportunity to take the lead and go wherever you want, do whatever you want, be your own boss. But the, one of the things that you're going to have to do is master your emotions. He's, he needs, you know, master your emotions. And this is also, okay... We have a transformation card. We have two transformations. These are both cards of transformation. They're both together. It's like you're trying to fight some sort of change because this is change. And these are opposition. And this is, what the hell? You guys are trying to fight something. I don't, and you absolutely are. You are. You're trying to fight something. And I'll get somebody that says, I'm not trying to fight anything. Within the readings, not for you. Click off now. That's a trigger. You guys have been triggered. You're letting people trigger you. Y you are. Things are like a f fucking mess. I'm sorry. I swore. And then you may feel like you're up and down. You're on this roller coaster of life, right? You're on this roller coaster trying to escape whatever's happening. It's like, oh my God. <sighs> One minute there's an extreme high, the next minute there's an extreme low. There's been a lack of balance. So there's going to be. There's going. There's a lack of balance. There's a lack of harmony, and it's because you're holding on to something that doesn't serve you. Could be an. I'm not. I'm just saying. It could be a, an addiction. It could be an addiction. A lot of people will say that they don't have an addiction too. That's denial. Anyway. Anyway. Oh, okay. Um. You're dealing with somebody who's a bully. 
You're dealing with somebody who's mean-spirited. You're dealing with a p -p 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 jerk. And he's stealing your energy. And he's stopping you from transforming and evolving into who you're supposed to be. This air sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, whoever it is, is stopping you from reaching your highest potential. <laughs> Seriously. Whoever this person is. You got somebody here that's holding you back. Put it that way. Big time. But you have the opportunity to take charge, take the reins, whenever you want. So, yeah, we have somebody in the process of making a decision. This is it. This is right here. Decision. What am I going to do? Do I stay in this shithole or do I move on? been blocking them from success. This person's been blocking you from the success success that you deserve. They've been like stealing your energy or stealing from you, period, or what do, deceiving you no matter what. I mean, even if they're doing it, I mean, whoever this person is, they're really robbing you of success. It's not love. It's not emotionally content. And it's like you're you're playing games, like I said, going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, juggling. Things seem a little chaotic. This person brings chaos into your life and it causes you to blow a gasket. Why do things got to be so, so chaotic anyway? Why can't things just be peaceful, right? Damn it. This person has a victim mentality, so it's never them. <laughs> okay, just saying, so just keep that in mind. Anyway, um, you have the ability to come out of this darkness, this dark period, this wherever, this place where that you're in. You, you're being led by somebody that you don't, you go your own way. Stop letting this person lead you astray. They don't want, they can't, they're not, they're leading you. They could go in and ask for help, but they're not. You're the blind one, whatever. <laughs> you letting somebody lead you down the wrong path? Damn. So you guys are in the process of making a decision. Do I keep going down this path? Do I keep playing this game? Do I keep, you know, dealing with this chaos? Do I keep dealing with this bully who's, Stealing my energy? Do I keep pretending that everything is good when I, you know, <laughs> whatever. Getting angry where, to the point where it's like, shit. Anyway, you, so you guys are, are about to make some sort of decision here with these twos. To head in a new direction. Twos are about heading in the right direction. This is moving on as well. You guys have still been holding on to something, but I think you're getting ready to move on. I do. It looks like you're getting ready to move on to do the right thing for you. That's what it looks like to me. This is a decision as well about bringing balance. Things are so unbalanced. And you're like, what am I going to do to release this chaos? What am I going to do to bring that peace and harmony back to my life? And I think that you're about to move in a new direction. You're at least thinking about it. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I'm sorry. Thinking about it. Thinking about it. They do this, you know, and I get excited sometimes. So, yes, you're thinking about it. You're in the process of it. But the change, resisting change, all oh, that change. Come on now. Everybody has to go through it. There is not one person in this world that doesn't have to face their fears to change their life. Every single person has to do it. Oh, God, somebody's been trying to avoid any disaster, right? I don't want to deal with it. But you may be able to avoid it for a little bit longer, but not for much longer, okay? Not for much longer. Eventually, that lightning is going to come to where it 
it really does hit it is going to hit you probably are avoiding it for a minute but uh, wherever you're at right now it's it's going to crumble sooner or later you're going to receive a blessing you are with this star card and the only way to receive the blessing that you deserve is for something to break down something to crumble that is leading you down the wrong path so yeah there's something that needs to go and right now you're thinking about it you're in the process of you know dealing with your fears by the looks of things um stuck you're in limbo but there's no love wherever you're at and, and i think that you're feeling that you're or if there's not any love you're not feeling loved right you're not feeling emotionally supported emotionally content you're not feeling fulfilled and you're re ready for that new opportunity you're ready for that new beginning so you may have a new opportunity to go down a new path, maybe even move, okay, start in some place completely new. So you may be given an opportunity to start someplace completely new. Somehow. Somebody may be offering you some help or something. Offering you maybe some financial support. I don't know. I help you. That kind of thing. Because they don't want you to fail. You may not recognize your potential, but somebody else might. I'm not sure what this is, but there's lack of confidence. And you need your confidence built up. Somebody has belittled you. Damn it. And that's why your confidence has been brought down. And mm, this, mm, you know what I'm trying to say. This, uh person <laughs> who is not a nice person has really made you feel not worthy or stolen your confidence and your self-esteem and now you need some help and perhaps you're going to receive some help it could be from a Taurus Virgo Capricorn it could be from anybody it could be from a Cancer it could be from an Aquarius could be from anybody. It doesn't really matter what sign it is. But we definitely have somebody here that is very masculine energy. That is a real... You know what. Okay. Um, and you have to make that decision. Do you stay or do you go? Do you stay or do you go? So in this... This month of December, I think you're probably in the process of maybe even planning to leave. Now, you're thinking about it, and now you probably could be coming up with a plan. So, throughout the month, you probably you may start thinking something, you know, I don't know. You may be asking for help or making the plan to walk away. And Yeah, there's a broken heart here. There's a lot of sadness. There's grieving. Oh, God. But you have a new, better opportunity. And you guys, it looks to me like you guys are going down a new path of some sort. No doubt. Like starting over. Because these are pages. They're, they're, they, they have new lessons to learn. They start a new journey. Some place where there's more growth. Where you're going to be get more um, stability out of it more security you're gonna it looks like this pain that you're going through is going to lead you down and i know that people are like what the fuck do you mean i have to feel this pain to go down the new path yeah unfortunately Especially if you're holding on to a dead-end situation. Especially if you're holding on to somebody that is abusing you. Whether it's mentally, verbally, uh, emotionally, physically, whatever. They've got an abuser here. Somebody's going to have to find their courage to stand up for themselves. And head to a place where they're respected because there's a lack of respect from somebody. 
So somebody was in the process of thinking about walking away because I'm not, I'm not valued here. And they have another opportunity. And if they absolutely do have another opportunity, something that is better suited for them. There's options here. For a new partnership, seriously, a new partner, where there's this partner is definitely more stable and secure, whether this is a work partner or a live-in person or a roommate or whoever it is, there's something better suited than where the hell you're at. That's for goddamn sure. Because wherever you're at, there's too much pain, there's too much suffering, there's too much hurt. It's like, I, it's killing you. And there's too much competition, too much bickering, too much fighting. It's too much. It's too much tension. There's too much tension wherever you're at. And you need to regain your focus. You need to regain your energy. You need to regain your ambition and your self-esteem and your self-worth. And somebody has stolen that. And they've caused you to be angry. They've caused you to get upset. You know, misery loves company, right? You're dealing with somebody who absolutely doesn't have good intentions and is that they absolutely it's not about love at all. At all. They don't have they don't care how they how you feel. You're selfish. If you are single and you are watching this. You may need to head in a new direction, move to find somebody that's better suited for you. Even if you're, if you, if you're in a, it's not even if you're single, you know, this is for whoever it's for. Somebody has to move in a new direction to find somebody that's better suited for them. I mean, that's what I see. And right now, somebody's in the process of thinking about it, but they're really not in any rush, but they're trying to think of plans. How could I? How can I? What can I do? So, yeah, there's definitely feeling some sort of pain this month over some dickhead who is a bully. So I think that you are dealing with somebody who is very mean and conceited and self-centered, and they're bringing you down. Um, could be more than one person. Could be... Could be three people, could be two people, could be up to two, up to three people. Um, you're definitely dealing with somebody who is not very nice and they're stealing your energy and you're just thinking about how you're going to bring victory and success to your life. You are going to get what you deserve out of this because karma never loses an address. Trust me, it doesn't. But I also feel as though, and you're going to get victory. You are going to get victory, but you're going to have to make a move to do so. To get the victory and success, you're going to have to make some sort of move. You need to take the lead. You need to take the reins right out of that other person's hands. Somehow. You got to step down off of that hanging man, that, that pole, and you got you to gotta go take it. You got to say, you know what? I'm not staying here. And you better get out of my way before I run over your ass. So, yeah, you guys have a fresh new start on the horizon, a new beginning. So be prepared to deal with a little bit of drama from Grinch himself. Probably even worse than the Grinch. Which pushes you in a new direction a little bit more or a lot more e or even out the door into a brand new beginning this guy has to face his fears to take that leap he don't have any fears he's like I'm gone see ya no fear so I think this is a month of taking that leap into a new life but the choice is yours. That's what we got right there. Let's get a couple of these. For Sagittarius. You're headed towards victory. Don't give up. Remember I just at the beginning. Don't give up.
Oh boy, new love, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Maybe you're gonna head right towards, head right towards a new love. Seriously. Look at that shit. Right towards a new love. Where there's actually emotional contentment. Now this is over here. Okay. This is fucking great. Okay, somebody's been trying to give a relationship a chance. Give your over here with this person. Somebody has been trying to give a relationship a chance. But the other person isn't changing. They're a bully. They're in control. They're withdrawn. They don't communicate. They're cold-hearted. And you've given it all. You have given it all. And now there's an opportunity to, to walk out, away. See how this is, this is walking away to, to new love. So that's what's going on here. Somebody is walking away to new love. Sorry, I didn't zoom that in soon. Okay. But, you see? So I feel like this is a month of making a decision to perhaps spread your wings and fly. right into happiness the victory and success the justice that you deserve you're gonna get what you deserve this circumstance that you have been through is made you stronger trust me it has that was a karmic lesson of some sort you had to learn it was struggle it was painful yes but you're gonna get the justice the reward that you deserve trust me Where you're at, there's there's no love. Anyhow, good luck.